come as no surprise that Oshkosh is the venue that we chose to make our exciting new announcement. What you're about to witness is the reveal of a concept. Ladies and gentlemen, the Eclipse Concept Jet. into the home-built segment. All of these are announced production aircraft that these companies are intending to bring to market. However, as usual, Eclipse has chosen to take a different route. We have developed a concept general aviation aircraft that will be used to help Eclipse understand the single-engine jet marketplace. We will use the Eclipse concept jet, or ECJ, to do extensive market research on this emerging market. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. The most identifiable characteristic is naturally the V-tail design that is an externally mounted engine. The, the V-tail provides the ECJ with many advantages. It has robust structure, lower drag, improved engine efficiency, reduced weight, lower noise emissions, and improved maintainability. In fact, very recent examples of successful V-tail aircraft include the F-117 Stealth Fighter and even the latest Global Hawk and Predator UAVs. You can also see that we chose to pod the engine rather than embed it in the structure of the tail. This was done for multiple reasons. The first, the ECJ engine location is simple to access. As a result, it will be easy to maintain. Remember the DC-10 versus L-1011? Very similar concept. Second, the engine location is optimized to leverage every ounce of possible thrust output. In other words, the engine does not require complex mechanisms and oversized inlets and is not susceptible to friction and spillage drag as most buried engines would be. The engine placement chosen also alleviates rotor burst concerns and heavy tail configurations. Some of the initial numbers for the ECJ include max cruise speed of 345 knots true, a 41,000 foot service ceiling, 1250 nautical miles, a fuel full payload. In our initial flight testing, yes, you heard me say flight testing, we have seen extensive results. Vern Rayburn is taxiing in the Eclipse concept jet, the first single engine prototype that they put together in 220 days from concept to finish. Vern is turning in right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Vern Rayburn and the Eclipse concept jet. The drapes are pulled aside. The folks who were inside watching a concept, a model, now see the actuality. Here comes the Eclipse concept jet, the ECJ. Good morning. 
did it again. Arrow TV is brought to you by Now, back to Aero TV. Just a few seconds ago, Peg Bilson pulled the curtains aside, a bit of smoke, a bit of mirrors, and showed the first public look at something we knew was on the, uh, was on the way, kind of. The Eclipse concept jet, a single engine jet using a lot of the Eclipse 500 componentry, wings, gear, portions of the fuselage. What the folks inside who are now looking at the model and going ooh and ah don't know is that Vern Rayburn flew in here last night, a little bit after 8 o'clock, in the actual prototype. ANN and Aero TV were privileged to be part of the photo chase team and photo documentation team on July 2nd. We've seen it fly. We've been a part of the flight test program, watching it uh, come together, watching the flights be planned, watching the flights be flown. On July 2nd, a very experienced uh, test pilot, an outstanding test pilot by the name of Terry Tomeni, conducted a flawless 70 minute flight out of Wallops Island, Virginia, the NASA flight test facility, and just did a marvelous job of showing what uh, the Eclipse team can put together in a total of 220 days from approval to first flight.